Hey everybody, it's the day we look forward to, Sunday with Sterling. Good, good morning everybody. Hey, so listen, um, he's got a little announcement about a free reading he's gonna do for everybody, and this is how he's gonna do it, which actually was kind of nice for me, but go ahead. Sterling. Sure, so uh, I think Linda, you and I talked about this, and I discussed it with my Linda. So we'll, we'll be running a contest now for a free uh, half hour reading with myself. So here's how it'll work. Uh, anybody that puts comments in the comment section on our shows with you and I, if they start off the comment with the word love, we know they want to be entered into the drawing. And so then every time Linda goes up 1,000 subscribers, uh, Daniel, who's uh, Linda's person, will then randomly select somebody from the list of comments that had the word love in it from the last show uh, to be the winner of the free half hour reading with myself. So that's kind of how we're going to work it out. Okay. And then Daniel will let me know the night before your show, that whatever show, we'll announce it on uh, Sterling's show. And then in the beginning, you can say, so-and-so, you're the one that won the free re reading. Exactly. Free 30-minute reading with, uh, with Sterling. I'll say something funny. I think you're at 35,000 subscribers. I just hit 35. So when I hit 36. Right. Congratulations. So if you're not subscribed and you want to get in the contest, subscribe. A funny sign. And then note. watch the subscriptions because when it hits 36, you you know, or 35.9, you want to start giving love, love, love. <laughs> <laughs> a, a funny side note, I think we first uh, tried to put together this, this, uh, this contest, if you will. We said every time you go up 100 subscribers, but you're going up so fast, we had to say 1,000. <laughs> <So. laughs> I know. Uh, Danny was bringing that up. Yeah. He's got a son that's real good with numbers with this kind of stuff. And so he was going, he was telling me I'm going up so many subscribers per day, you know, so. Oh, great. I, you know, can you believe I had no clue I didn't do this because of subscribers. I did this because I had to. And do you know, I didn't even monetize for the longest time because I didn't know you could. Right, right. <laughs> I just thought I was supposed to do it. So. All right, my friend, we have questions. Okay, okay. Thank you to Linda and Daniel who get the questions together. Try yeah. if you can not to send them personally to me because for a while there I was forwarding Daniel and Linda and it just gets too difficult. It's easier for them to be all in one spot. You guys rock with the questions, by the way. Okay, from the other side, does Albert Einstein have a message for us? He does. And, you know, the reason this, this question's there is he actually came up three times this week, which is kind of interesting. So uh, each time he came up, the first time he came up and he said, you know, look, I'm joining forces on the other side with uh, Albert Einstein and Nikola Tesla and uh, Nostradamus. And we're all trying to kind of pull our resources together to help uh, with the earth right now and actually working with a number of different psychics across the globe uh, on oh. one of them. But the other thing he kept telling me was, uh, Sterling, please mention uh, the secret book, like the secret book. And I'm like the secret book, are these like secret formulas or what? And so I, I kind of did more work on it. It comes up, he's referring to the secret doctrine. And the secret doctrine was a book, uh, basically it was kind of the synthesis of science, religion, and philosophy. So the message he wanted to get out to everybody, and this is what I'm conveying, is that um, he took that book very seriously as a reference tool. Many people thought Einstein was all about science, but he felt it was the blending of philosophy, religion, and science that was most important. So you want to know that his reliance on the secret doctrine was important. So, so I told him I get that. The secret doctrine is actually a book. It's a book. I can go on Amazon and order it after I hang out with you. I believe you can, yeah. And I think it was first published uh, all the way back in the 1800s, like 1888. So, uh, yeah, but there was, there was some confusion, but he really wanted me to get that out there because I think he thinks in this time, in our day and age, the blend of science, philosophy, and religion is important. So, right, right. Yeah. That is interesting. It is. So when he comes to you, you just see him or? All the, yeah, all, all the above. He kind of says, hey, I'm here. You know, uh, can we chat? And I'm saying, sure. You know, what, what, is he young or is he about the same appearance he was? He's, he's about 20 years younger than I think some of the, the last pictures you saw of him. So he looks a okay. little bit, his skin looks a little younger. And he also channeled the universe, which is no surprise. A lot of the work he did, he channeled uh, guides. Isn't so. that something? I love yeah. it. I love it. Tesla, too. 
Yeah, yeah. I love it. Absolutely. Okay, will the Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy, be stopped? He is limiting post office services claiming funding issues. Yeah, unfortunately, Congress is going to get very involved in this. And, um, you know, they're really going to uh, roll back to what we'll call like service as required. So it's almost like you scale up the operation when it's required. So that means more machinery, more people, more overtime, more trucks kind of thing. So Congress is going to get very actively involved in this and try to you know, head that off in the pass. So make okay. sure that the right- Because he'll, he'll go in and try to try. He, the only reason they're doing it is to stop voters. Oh, absolutely. It's it's very clear to a large part of the population. Right. But Congress is calling him to, to talk to them because, you know, he can go get into legal trouble for this. Right. Absolutely. So oh, uh, I hope he goes down. Uh, you will. But, you know, there's so many resources that you have to put in place to kind of scale up the post office operation. You can't stop overtime, trucks, machinery. You can't stop all of that. That doesn't make right. sense. Okay. Will Brexit be stopped or will it be forced through at all costs? So, I mean, Brexit, uh, Brexit is off to the races and it's really not going to be stopped. Um, it looks like it's kind of a turbulent path forward over the next four years. I mean, the cycle of the full Brexit eggs of the UK to the European Union, um, it's kind of a one year uh, path, but there's a lot of rockiness with Brexit including, you know, other countries like Scotland trying to exit. So, so it's a little rocky, but it, right. it is going gonna, gonna to move forward. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For the past few weeks, Republicans have been putting a lot out of a lot of articles on trafficking. Usually this means bad news for Trump. What do you get? I, I assume that question is around sex traffic, sex trafficking. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Sex trafficking. And, um, you know, yeah, so this is an ongoing issue that's really going to be brought up by the FBI. The FBI has a lot of details on this, but this whole sex trafficking operation worldwide is a global problem. But uh, Jeffrey Epstein was very involved. A lot of, uh, a number of uh, people in high places and politics are involved. And as is an, a lot of money laundering going on in this operation, I think you and I maybe a year ago might have touched on the sex trafficking and uh, it will all come out. The FBI knows what's going on. Okay. They'll be able to put a stop to it. They will. Can you tell us anything about the whales kept at various sea worlds? They have communicated that they are hungry all the time and that the water makes their skin itch. Is this true? If so, is there any help coming? You know, um, a number of weeks ago, and I'm, I'm recalling um, some information came through on this, so I'll, I'll describe what I got then, which was that actually there was like a European effort that was going to be uh, based almost on the Jacques Cousteau Foundation, being led by the Jacques Cousteau Foundation, and some European, some very wealthy individuals out of Europe that were going to step in and try to help, like, remigrate some of these whales. So there's always a concern with how you do that, uh -huh. if they were kept in captivity, but I saw the Jacques Cousteau Foundation along with some very wealthy Europeans, not, okay. not people in the U.S., which is interesting, uh, they're going to step in and help. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Do you guys see Jeff Bezos as channeling his creative ideas? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. So a lot of the information comes through meditation and through, you know, connection with the universe. Uh, yeah. And, uh, well, it's very interesting. A lot of background on that, but absolutely that there's a, there's a connection with the universe he makes that helps kind of move these ideas forward. Okay. And I can tell you just in practical circumstances, just from reading on his background that, you know, he's working on things that are way beyond where people are even thinking about, you know, types of things for Mars, for example. So. Okay. Okay. Um, I remember first using Amazon years ago when he would send a personal note with a mm -hmm. like he gave me a free mug or something thanking me for the business all of a sudden it, that was over okay yeah. are the republicans that sold out to russia going to be exposed and will they face consequences they will um because right now there's actually now an easy path of they always say follow the money trail so the money trail from a lot of you know russian uh, laundered money that came into various Republican campaigns. So all this is really, all this information is lying in wait and will come out very, very soon, as soon as the White House transitions. So 
It's okay. all it's all going to come out. Yeah. Okay, good. Because I keep seeing when when this question came up, I just saw them sitting on July fourth in um, Russia, and uh, Johnson was there, the same guy that's trying to bring up that junk that. Makes no sense about why right, right. you're so desperate. Anyway, I keep seeing feathers on my lawn near my sidewalk, and they're in a row. What does that mean? That's you know that's an easy one. Those are um those are very specific messages from guides and, and the universe that they say that you know the, your your loved ones are around you and the guides are around you. So it's a it's a direct connection. Sometimes people will see that more often than not when they really need the support. Maybe yeah. they're grieving a relative or something. But uh, that's a direct message from the universe. Oh, okay. I have a lot of clients that say they're getting feathers a lot. Yep. Will we be able to reverse climate change for future generations? Yeah, and you know, and here's an area where the pandemic has actually been helpful in that um, a lot of carbon emissions, even worldwide, have been reduced because of people not driving as much. And so we're actually seeing a shift kind of, so within about four years, we're gonna see a real kind of a tide change around uh, those kinds of issues. But the pandemic kind of led the way in telling scientists kind of what was possible and achievable right. in a short period of time. So yes. Wow. Okay, thank you. Uh, are people of contact with extraterrestrials specifically chosen? What are, their, what are the determining factors? I've wondered about that. That's an interesting question. Families are chosen, yes. So there's there's a hierarchy to that, and uh, you know it's it's uh, her hereditary. So they have been chosen over you know decades and centuries. They do get followed uh, more for evaluation and testing purposes. So it does follow families. And that's it, because I know I've never been followed. But I often wonder about people I read that know that they've had encounters. Right, and there are many people that have direct experiences. Absolutely. Right. How many spirit guides do you have? Do they remain with you throughout your lifetime? Do they have personalities? Have they ever had human form? That's like a quadruple nested question. <laughs> That's like for an essay. Yeah. Uh, but I, here's the thing. Most people have a number of, guard, uh, of guardian angels and a number of working guides, I call them. And uh, so the, the angels, a lot of times, are birth angels. They stay with you for life. Right. And then the, the guides, the working guides, kind of get changed out as you go through life, depending on what you're going through. Right. So if you're going through cancer treatment, you may have a guide very good at healing or health. If you're starting a new business, a guide may be better in finance. So right. yeah, the, the guide, the working guides, kind of get changed out as you go through life, depending on uh, which what you're going through. Right. But the angelic forms are not have never been earthbound. Correct. Right. So they are much higher vibrational energy, and they haven't been. Many times, though, the spirit guides have been, you know, going back hundreds of years. They right. have been at that one point. People on the readings ask me all the time, who are my guides? What are their names? And I can't see my own guides. I can hear them, but I can't see them. You know, what I tell most people is that you can actually reach for the names. I see a lot of angels with almost like Latin-derived names. Yeah. And a lot of the guides, uh, for me, go back many centuries, almost Spanish and Italian names. Wow. But it's less important that... Um, <laughs> It's actually, you want to call your guides forward, plural, you know, to help you. It's not important you call forward Andrew, Jack, and Joseph. That's not as important. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Do, aliens have an, <clears throat> do aliens have an afterlife like we do? Do, all, do we all go to the same place? They do have an afterlife, but they're on a different vibrational level than human beings and angelic figures. So uh, aliens are a different vibrational level. So it's almost like uh, tiers of a house, if you will. So they're not kind of on the same plane as we are, but they, they do have an afterlife. Yeah. Do we, we inter, do some interact? Yeah. Right. So people can kind of go, you know, go down between levels and things like that, but they don't primarily exist uh, on the same level. Yeah. Okay. Will there be a cure or an injection for Parkinson's? Good question. A lot of people wrestling with Parkinson's these days. I know it's um, so sad. Linda, yeah, for me, yeah, and you know, the big breakthrough is still around gene splicing therapy. And you and I have touched on this on a couple of shows. Yeah. But I do see within inside of about five years, big breakthrough in gene splicing technology. 
So how you then can create uh, and change attributes in the human body with injectables. So the answer to that question is almost in the same time frame. within five years, I see some solutions coming about that will help with that. A absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, good. Linda Ronstadt. She's one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. If Russia or the Republicans hack the voting system and change numbers, will the FBI or any other group be able to do anything? Yes, you know, the good news about uh, what happened in the 2016 election was that the FBI was able to uncover a lot of the mechanisms that Russia used uh, to hack the system. So actually now they have what I'll call uh, watchdog appliances and technology that actually at those intersections of technology, they can be able to understand what's happening. So uh, the good news is the FBI learned a lot uh, from 2016. And uh -huh. so now in the next presidential election, they'll be able to head it off at the pass. So yeah, because 2018 was a, a blue wave. So right. Russia right. couldn't do anything. Right. And I, I also feel, I don't know why I don't get upset about the Russia thing. I'm almost feeling like it's a nothing burger. Because now there's so many safeguards in place and, and ways we can detect how they did in 2016. So. Right, right. And, and by the way, quick footnote, I, I, this goes around the press a lot. The, the Russians aren't trying to tamper with the election with paper ballots. They're doing right. it electronically. Uh, so, you know, this is all craziness going on right now in the media. So. Okay. Yeah, because they, they like to run with it and scare us. Right. Um, and the other thing, let me ask you on top of this question. Um, they're saying China and Iran don't want him as president anymore. Are they actually going to try something or they're just saying that out loud? They don't want him as president anymore. No, I, I do feel that both groups will try to subvert the election in different ways. They, they will try to interfere. They will. But I said the good news is a lot was learned in 2016 about how these uh, these bad actors try to influence the election. So right. Ron to them is a simple way to put it. Yeah. Right. And also somebody just said to me while I was talking to you in my ear that China will try to do something with Russia, like deter their ability. <laughs> So it all works out. It's we'll a, it's a yeah. go ahead. It's a house of spies. House of spies. Yeah. <laughs> Will America ever get away from its anti in, in intellectual? Can't even say it. Anti intellectualism, anti science, anti expert problem. Yes. Um, so so here's some interesting, you know, kind of some good news brought about by the pandemic is that so many people are affected. I'll tell you this, within a few short years after Biden's in the White House, a lot of this anti-science you know, sort of uh, thinking will actually go by the wayside because a lot of the, pan the science behind the pandemic will come out, what happened, how people got exposed, what was missed, and you know, that contributing all the deaths. So that's gonna turn the tide on, on having more respect for science. Okay, good. People will listen. They will. Uh, not to mention Dr. Fauci is very, very helpful. He's still, he's still the North Star, and he will be for a lot of years. Yeah, that's great. And you know, he's 80-something. He looks fantastic. Right, he does. How do you know if you're hearing your guys or if it's your own inner voice? So a little bit of this is practice. As they say, like how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. So uh, a little bit is practice, but... Uh, as you work to communicate with the universe and your guides, uh, the quality information, the type of information you get, it will help, it provides a distinction for the kind of information you're getting. So for example, if you get a, uh, I'll call it an angel thought, thought from your guides is, I need to call somebody in particular, and you never thought about them for 20 years, and you call them, they say, I was just picking up the phone to call you. I've got this incredible thing I was going to talk to you about. You start to make the connection. Okay. And I just got a cold chill, by the way. So yeah. you make the connection that, okay, this is the universe helping. These are my guides. So it takes a little bit of practice, uh, but you can get to the point where you understand the difference. Right. I know I didn't necessarily believe everything I heard. Right. But, but the proof's in the pudding, you know. So my That's guides key. told me to do the YouTube channel. I'm like, what? Why the hell would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay. Is there any consequences for people who hurt animals for sport when they pass? 
There are, you know, um, there's a bit of a review period. You know this, when you pass over, there's a bit of a review period when you pass over. And people that are really outwardly cruel to animals, which are more angelic forms here, I think we've talked about before, they do go through a much longer learning period and review period when they cross over. So there's a bit of a kind of re reprogramming, a learning period. They do kind of, they start at a lower energy level when they cross over. Right, and they probably have to feel what they did to that animal. Exactly, exactly, yeah. They didn't realize, they thought it was just a, you know, a nothing. Right. Well, this is a good question. Will Letitia James in New York State be able to bring down the NRA? You know, uh, unfortunately, the simple answer there is like not be, not bring it down completely. But I, I, I do see some good coming out of all that effort. And there are things like biometrics around guns, what they call smart guns. Yeah. So implementing, implementing new measures around biometrics for guns and kind of safer ways to use guns. I see some of that, but there's actually so much money behind the NRA that it's going to be hard to kind of, you know, They're turn broke. it over. Right, right. <laughs> But the NRA, um, they're, they're, those top people are going to go. They will. There'll be a, a changing of the guard. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Those top people are going to go, and they are not trying to take away our Second Amendment. I knew Trump was going to run with that. They're trying to right. take away your Second Amendment. No, they're not. It's got nothing to do with the Second Amendment. The purpose exactly. of the NRA was to protect that right, but they didn't. It's just like Trump, Trump did with his thing, used it to pay off his legal bills. We right. weren't, it wasn't supposed to pay for yachts and all that. I think they're totally broke. I think they're going to have to revamp. I think they may have to, uh, I see them coming up again, but it's in a whole different format. Yeah, they'll be, uh, they'll be re, uh, reconfigured. That's it. That's it. The right wing conservative party is using Trump Trumpian tactics to take down prime minister Trudeau and liberals. Will this work? Whoa. Prime Minister Trudeau, I didn't know that. Yeah, you know, there's a, a lot of uh, you know right-wing tactics, uh, but you know, the, the good news is that there's a lot going on because of the pandemic. There's a lot of credibility lost among you know the, the right-wing and Republicans and whatnot. So, um, you know, with what I think five million people now infected in the U.S. and you know I, countless people have died, that you know now kind of the, the proof is in the pudding. It's kind of hard to deny the way things have been handled. So. Um, it's kind of falling on deaf ears to some extent. Right. So, yeah. I don't think it'll be that successful. Oh, good, me. good. Can I ask you just a quick question in there? That, sure. North, that North Dakota motorcycle thing? Mm -hmm. Will that have some, any kind of effect? Yeah, and unfortunately, that's going to be a little bit of a super spreader event as well. Yeah. Just like some of the um, the spring break things down in Florida. And yeah, it's going to be a bit of a super spreader. It just keeps, it just keeps accumulating. It's very sad. The motorcycle rally in Sturgis. Sturgis, that's it. And yeah. that town's not that big, but they need the money. Yeah, I know. So we will discover significant, will we discover significant long-term complications from people infected with COVID? You know, um, th there's going to be some long-term effects, uh, but the good news is that with it, so long-term effects are things like susceptibility to flus, uh, kind of some blood clotting, things of that nature, uh, memory loss. There's some things here that will be somewhat long-term, but I feel within a few short years, there's going to actually be some pharmaceuticals that will actually help counterbalance that. Right. So remember, I think we said show many shows ago, this month I felt there was a breakthrough in the COVID-19 uh, and kind of the development coming from a remote part of the world to understand the blueprint of COVID-19, right. what it's all about. And so that's going to make the pathway for the vaccine a year, year from now and all right. those things. So. Right. Yeah, that's great. Are aliens or angels able to disguise themselves as, as humans? They are. They are. You know, and, and a lot of times... There, there's been many significant sightings of angels, especially when people are, are in near-death experiences uh, or, you know, so either people within the near-death experience yeah. or it might be a traffic accident, you know, passers-by, paramedics, they'll witness angels. They do step in. I just got a cold chill again. <laughs> they, st they step in as necessary to kind of keep the person on the life path and right. then they're gone, they're gone as fast as they step in. 
Yeah, now, because there's miracles they do sometimes. They do, they do. And uh, the aliens, same thing. They do a little bit of sh uh, shape shifting. Uh -huh. So aliens can do that as well as necessary. But yeah, it's true. Wow. And did you, did you see that video? I think it was in Saigon or something. Some guy was doing a bike across the street that the cameras were on. Mm -hmm. And this person came forward and grabbed him and moved him real fast. It took him out of the way of harm, but it right. did it in a split second. You see right. it on camera, and then you see his hands are full of light. And then yeah. he turned and just started to leave. I thought that has to be some sort of angel in a human body. There are. You know, I'm going to tell you a real quick story about an angel encounter. I mean, I, I read lots of people as you do, but uh, several months ago, uh, a lady told me she was in a near-death traffic accident. She actually was going very high speed, lost control of the car, and was getting ready to hit a tree. And a second before she hit a tree, an angel appeared in the seat next to her and said, do you want to stay or do you want to go? And she had about 30 seconds, you know, within this kind of weird one-second time window to kind of review her life, think about her family and all that. And she actually said, I'd like to stay. And the angel said, okay, look to the right and had the impact. And had she looked forward or to the left, she would have passed away. So the angel stepped in and said, do you want to stay? Look to the right. I thought that was a very impactful story, but a good example wow, of an I angel love it. step in. Yeah, they'll step so in. So she looked to the right. Did she still get injured, but not fatally injured? Exactly, that was the key. So however the accident happened, however the car uh, came off the road and hit the tree, if she had not looked right, she would have been deceased. She would have passed away. Yeah. So did she say what it, the angel looked like or how'd she know uh, the angel? Well, she could just tell by it was angelic form. It was translucent. It was talking to her. It's like an energy she never felt before. But, you know, the whole thing was just, you know, angelic experience. Time stopped, you know, so it was a, a very impactful experience. But just by way of example, and I hear lots of stories like that, that angels will make themselves known when necessary. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, um, I can't think of her name now. Dolores Cannon. She mm -hmm. talked about being able to heal yourself energetically mm -hmm. but if you vibration if you came to this earth with it as a karma like that sickness was a karma or this particular death was a karma you can't change it that's what she said very true i, I believe that yeah right. north carolina is being bombarded by negative ads about biden will these ads work in trump's favor Kind of very similar to the question we had previous here uh, on the same show, but um, it looks like because of the pandemic and a lot of, you know, people are realizing kind of how it all's been handled. There's less credibility with a lot of those ads. Okay. So, uh, people have w woken up kind of to the truth. Let's put that. Oh, way. but for Trump to say you, you, you vote for them, they're going to take away God. They don't believe in God. What kind of statement was that? Right. That's and I, so I heard so weird. And I heard something this morning uh, over the radio or the TV, which was that um, he's feeling like that by the end of the year, before the election, he'll have the vaccine. You know, it's crazy. And Dr. That's Fauci, what he told everybody. <laughs> Dr. Fauci had to come on TV and say, well, you know, hold the phone. <laughs> <laughs> he told everybody in 2018, um, if you vote for the Democrats, they'll take away your health care. Right. Yeah, anyway. Are the reptilian aliens able to harm humans what are they trying to accomplish so you know a lot a lot of species of aliens uh reptilians are, are one species um they tend to be more aggressive than some of the others uh -huh. um however um as as a general rule as a race they're not necessarily harmful so maybe a little more aggressive as a form but uh they're not here to harm mankind i think that was the nature of the question yeah uh, yeah so do plants communicate with each other? They, you know, they do, and um, in, in a multitude of ways. So they can they can communicate uh, through the ground, uh, through roots, uh, also through low frequency vibration. And actually, scientists there's actually scientific information on this. Scientists can detect low frequency vibration and signals as plants communicate. So that's one. That's an area. They also communicate through, uh, through the sky and through the air. Fantastic. So they have three communication modes, yeah. I heard that even when they're burning in a fire in the ground, they notify everybody else. They do, they do, and that's a, a 
take that low frequency vibration. Yeah. Is the Loch, Ma Loch Ness monster real? If so, what is it? Good range of questions this week, by the I way. I know, this they're fun. fun. <laughs> all, over the, all over the map. Um, so what they're telling me that this was a this was a life form that was actually present on Earth, you know, centuries ago, many thousands of years ago. But actually, it has some linkage back to alien. But that species is not around anymore. So that okay. was very uh, a very old species that was brought to Earth and didn't flourish. So at one okay. time it was real. Yeah. So the 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 people that see it in Scotland now, it, it does exist or it doesn't exist. They're they're seeing something else. They're, okay. they're, not, they're not seeing what was the Loch Ness monster. Yeah. Okay. Does sage therapy work? What kind? Oh, sage. Sage. sage yeah. You know, it does. You know, it has a cleansing um, a, a cleansing effect. It actually alters the sensory perception of people a bit. So sage, I think it alters sensory perception and does tend to clear the air uh, of some types of spiritual energy. Now, I'm not an expert in that area, but what they're telling me is it changes the sensory perception of people and does clear the energy. Okay, great. But don't uh, ask me to explain it. Okay. <laughs> so, There's such a thing as a soulmate. Oh, yeah, that, well, that's an easy one. Uh, people, people many times have several soulmates through their life. So that's a misconception sometimes to talk to people and they say, I met my soulmate. I've or screwed up my life. Plane. Yeah. Right, right. Now you have many soulmates. Uh, you actually choose them before you come down here. They teach you a lesson. And uh, if you learn the lesson, you move, you know, several squares forward on the board game. Right. And uh, usually a lot of times down the road, if you didn't learn the lesson, you, you get a pop quiz from the universe. Okay. And uh, if you make the same like wrong selection kind of a thing, then you repeat the lesson. You have okay. many soulmates, absolutely. Okay, yeah. And sometimes um, I've been, in my readings, I actually see that their soulmate isn't necessarily on this earth plane with them. They're, on, they're right. still on the other side. That's very true. Do you see anything coming up for the next week? I do. Um, you know, some of this has been in the media, but my guides are confirming that you know, the VP pick for Biden will be announced. We'll see okay. that. Okay. We'll also see a lot of uh, a lot of Trumpian philosophy out there in the press as to you know why things are going to go wrong and you know uh, with Biden and the presidency. Um, yeah, so I think it's more of the same, but we'll definitely see the Biden pick and outs this week. Okay, okay. And do you have any information that your guides want to share? They do. This week, um, rather straightforward, as a lot of times they are, but it's uh, everybody, you know, should take time to stop and smell the roses. So especially during this pandemic time, people are kind of crazy, let's say literally with their hair on fire, but it's important to kind of stop and smell the roses and appreciate uh, the universe and the earth that we help create. Exactly. So that's important. You know, this is all part of the universal plan, but do stop and, uh, you know, be kind to others and smell the roses. Absolutely. Well, and, and you know, and I'm always saying this till I'm blue in the face. People want to know, they want that connection. They cannot, our other side, our guides cannot connect it with you if you're always in your head. Right. You have right. to step outside of yourself, be the observer or the thinker. And when you're in that mode, that's when the real good mess, that's when the peace comes in. It is, and that's all part of being centered and grounded and uh, exactly. you know, spiritually connected. And being so. kind and being in grace for what you do have. A lot of exactly. people are doing this, you know, and I say, you know, step, breathe, and be grateful for what you do have. Because there's a lot of people out there don't have what you have. And everybody agreed to be down here in 2020, the twin year, and to help the earth over the next two decades. So understand you all agreed to be down here and to help. So. You know, I had a dream, and I'm going to find that dream book. I used to be very meticulous about keeping, and a guide came through. It was as clear as day. I don't even know if it was a dream because I could hear it. And he said, you have something really important to do, and he used two, two, zero. Mm -hmm. Something with two, zero, two, zero, which is like 2020. I think this is sure. the purpose of us doing this right now. There's a lot of teachers out there. Yeah, I mean, Nostradamus referred to the twin year as this happening with the pandemic, so yeah. Isn't that something? Okay, well, you guys, 
don't forget to subscribe if you can. Um, you, you're still not considering your own YouTube channel yet. Uh, I'll work with you offline on that. We'll see. You know, okay, because, yeah. you know, he's he going to be a hot number. He's going to be a hot number. Okay, you guys. So, love you all. And I love having you. So, it's good for me. A pleasure. <laughs> it's a, a lot of fun every Sunday. Okay.